Greetings and welcome to Burly Men at Sea. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I'm so, so curious about this game. I first saw it on Steam uh, and then I kind of forgot about it until I saw this article about Time Magazine's top 10 games of the year. And guess what? Burly Men and Sea uh, at sea was among them. Uh, I asked the devs for a game key and they were kind enough to provide one so I could play it for you guys. So let's get started on our adventure. All right. There's a bot. Oh, there's a bottle with a letter. Let's see what's in it. Oh, what's this? Calls one of the fishermen. Some kind of rubbish in the nets. Useless sea chart, grumbles the hasty one. Nothing on it but our own island. A map cast to sea without purpose? Must be more to it, argues the steady one. The brave one brightens. A mystery, aye! Folks in the village may know something of it. We should head back. Right, let's take this boat. There they are. <laughs> okay, how do we how do we walk? <laughs> Talk about crab to the left. How funny! Oh, how comical they look. Are we eating stuff? Oh, 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 oh! We can drag this area. Oh, it's a bakery. Hello, lady. Well, if it isn't the brother's beard, what can I do for you fellas? Steady Beards prepares to speak, but the question is intercepted by Hasty Beard. Know anything about maps? We found one. Aye, and no ordinary one, exclaims Brave Beard. It's mysterious. The loaf shaped woman continues working silently for a moment, then pauses to look up. Mystery, is it? Afraid I'm not the imaginati imaginative type of boys. We're old friends, the ordinary and I, she concludes, returning to her work. Okay. <clears throat> There's a fire here. Cool. I love the graphics in this game. <laughs> it's so cool. Alright, let's keep on going. Maybe walk down to this house. Ooh, a blacksmith. Can I cook on the tools? Okay. <laughs> Sound effects are hilarious. Ching. Ching. <laughs> the man glances up at their approach, then returns to his work with a grunt. Mind if we interrupt for a moment? Shouts Steady Beard. See, we caught something strange this morning, and and we thought you might know something of it. It's mysterious, adds Brave Beard. <laughs> Ching. There's a brief pause as the man stops hammering. He grunts. They wait. It appears he has nothing further to add. Hmm. Ching. 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 <laughs> so funny. Alright, let's see what, what other people we can visit. <laughs> Is there anything else? No? I guess we're not going to jump into the sea. And obviously can't go into a house without a door. Alright, let's go back. This way, boys. The brother's beard. Looks like some fish drying on these racks here. Okay, let's go in this house. Oh, there's a man out here playing flute. Oh, the chickens! Look how cute they are. Okay, is there anything? Oh, okay. Brave beard sidles over to the chewing cow. You wouldn't know anything about mysterious maps, would you, old, old girl? He pretends not to wait for an answer. <laughs> Chickens, you got anything to say? No? Jeez. Ooh, an egg! Hey, an egg. Can I pick it up? No. I guess these are not my... Oh, it... oh how cute! It cheeps. Oh, how cute. Oh, that's adorable. Hatched right in front of my eyes. <laughs> Hey, let's talk to this guy. A 
sea chart, eh? The young man shrugs. Can't say I know much about him. These landlocked legs of mine. Old fella next door in the coffee shop might have answers. Okay. We shall go there. Here it looks like a coffee shop. Oh my god, and we're out of buildings. The coffee shop guy had better know what's up. <laughs> oh, there's chairs. We could sit if we wanted to, maybe. Oops. Alright, let's look. You'll be wanting a drink and a seat by the fire, I expect. The men cast a dubious glance at the tiny stools before complying with a shrug. Behind them proceeds a friendly whir of mechanical sounds. The old man soon approaches with a steaming tray. Single origin espresso, roasted myself, he declares. They stare blankly. He sighs. Coffee. Relaxing, the men sip cautiously, eyes widen. Now what have you found? He chuckles at their stunned faces. Observation, that's all. Folks come in with questions and yours is plainly rolled in your hand. Steadybeard grins. Aye, then you are the man we want to see. He unrolls the parchment between them. All lean in. The old man deliberates for a moment before speaking. Hmm. Seems what you have here is a variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic feats. Aye! Bravebeard leaps from his seat to pound Steadybeard on the back. But there's nothing on it, remarks Hastybeard flatly, eyeing the old man. The old man grins at his skeptical look. Aye, it's a worthwhile adventure that begins with the unknown. This map has tales yet to tell. He turns to walk away. Ho oh there, what sorts of tales? calls Bravebeard. That depends, replies the old man, on what sort you choose. He crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. Steadybeard coughs awkwardly. Neat. Guess we'll be going then. Er, thanks for the suppresso. He tries. There's no answer. <laughs> Is, can I go to the left? I can't. Okay. Lamp clicking. Okay, guys. I guess we're out the door. I think we should go back to our boat, maybe. Or talk to the flute guy again. Is there anything else? Nope. Just ocean that way. Do you have anything else to say? The musician nods but continues playing, happily shirking the morning's chores. Okay. Well. Should we go back to our boat? Oh, there we go! We unfurled the sails! Yay! Okay, let's go somewhere. music. <laughs> oh, we're sailing a long way, aren't we? These birds. Sea rats, remarks Hasty Beard, squinting. What do you reckon they're after? Steady Beard frowns. I don't like it. Has the feel of mischief about it. Mischief away, Grant grins ba Brave Beard, loosing the sails. <gasps> oh my god! No! Oh. oh dear. We seem to have been eaten by a whale. Oh dear. It's dark inside the whale, but the men appear to be intact. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. I have flashbacks of the King's Quest for the perils of Rosella. I could never get out of the whale. What is going on here? Uh, oh, here I am. Okay, I found the guys. There are people living here. Join us, friends. From whence do you come? Asked one of the nymphs. 
we were sailing for adventure and heroic feats when this colossal whale fellow scooped us up, explained Steadybeard. It's really very discouraging. <laughs> a man can't properly have an adventure at sea indoors, added Bravebeard. Be calm, friend. Imagine the wave. Become the wave, advises the second nymph. The others exchange mellow glances, nodding approval. Can't say I follow the sentiment in that regard, comments Hastybeard. But if you'll advise us how to hop off this vessel, we'll be on our way. The great barnacled one brings us to a place we could not go ourselves. But those unwilling may depart through the fountain of the faithless, adds the nymph, gesturing sadly toward what appears to be a hatch. And our ship? She can't fit through that. Fear not. Once the great barnacled one reaches the place of promise, he will open wide the gate that all may go out as they came in. So either we escape with no ship or wait for the creature to open his maw. The nymphs nod grandly. Time flows quickly in contemplation of the great one's splendor. He who chooses the path of waiting is welcome here by the fire. Bravebeard face shows alarm. I think we'd uh, prefer to look around first. The nymphs began to sway. But all is darkness beyond the circle of the Great One's love. You must first seek the enlightenment of... Found it, interrupts Hastybeard, <laughs> grabbing a torch from the fire before him. <laughs> oh, he found the love. Alright, is there anything this way? Let's, um... Is this, a, is this a hatch here? Can we go there? Okay. That'll be our exit, observes Hasty Beard eagerly. Give her a tug! But we aren't properly floated, contends a nervous steady beard. We can't go about tossing ourselves overboard without certain assurances. Rubbish, grunts Bravebeard. Give me water and I'll teach it to carry me. <laughs> oh, the humor in this game. I guess we'll click it. <gasps> oh, <dear. laughs> no! We're in the water. Oh, dear. This is not good. We, we need our ship. Where's our ship? Oh, we need a ship! Give me water, he says, growls Hasty Beard. Well, we've water all right, and to spare. Any other requests? Bravebeard aims a fish at his head. Shaking his head, Steady Beard begins resolutely to swim. Oh dear. Do we go this way? I think I'm swimming, I can't even tell. I should go the other way. I think I'm swimming. I seem to be making some progress. This is very funky the way this thing is. swimming. Okay, even if I just hold it, I guess. They must be going. I see the mountains moving in the distance. Come on, guys. Keep on going. Swim. I'm really 
really surprised that they're swimming so much. I thought they might have, like, drowned by now. Not having a boat and all that. Feels endless. Oh, there's a very, very high mountain there. Maybe I am making some progress. Come on. Let's go, guys. side. Hmm. Hope we can go get some pretzels or some bakery goods or something. several minutes, I think I probably should head back. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere going this way. Can I go this way? Can I swim that way? No, I can't. I can't. Oh! Whoa! Okay. We got somewhere. Look at this. Land ho! Steady Beard's sudden shout brings the company to a halt. An island? Odd that they hadn't noticed it before. Unconcerned by this mystery, the men splash frantically toward it and clamber up, panting. Recovering first, Hasty Beard stands surveying the bald hill around them. Not much to it, he observes, but it's dry land in any case. Aye, but what sort of land? Steady Beard bends to poke the ground, which gives slightly beneath his finger. Tis no rock nor dirt. He pokes it again. Water begins suddenly to boil, the island itself shuddering in an ominous rumble. Brave Beard leaps up with a grin, dragging Steady Beard to his feet. This has the markings of a heroic adventure, or I'm a sea cucumber. Whoa! <gasps> oh! Oh dear. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Uh, we have a bit of a problem. What do we do? Can we jump down? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! One got caught! No! What am I supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I keep clicking on the hands on the tentacles. 
Oh, there we go. Looks like each of us has been captured. Aha! There. Oh no. Oh boy. Now there's problems. <gasps> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh my. Oh, the jellyfish takes us down. The creature drags the struggling men deeper beneath the waves, finally tossing them aside in disgust. Vengeance satisfied, it swims away. The men float dazed, unsure for the moment which direction is up. Nice day, comments a passing seal. They stare at it as it swims on. A voice breaks into their panic. Are you in need of assistance? It's the seal. The brothers flail, now beginning to gulp water. Right then, barks the seal, and it is gone as quickly as it had come. The men begin to sink despondently. As their eyes darken, the men seem to hear singing coming nearer, nearer. First seal speaks. The transformation will hold until you reach the surface, but you must keep together or risk breaking the spell entirely. And now, large gentlemen, we must part. Farewell. With perfectly coordinated dives, the seals disappear back into the depths. <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna go to the right then. Oh, 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 hold on. Everyone stay together. This one's faster than the others. Come on, guys. Heedless of the warning, the burly seals spread out as they swim until the spell around them weakens and they become human once more. Oh dear. The men make a last futile effort to the surface, but finally sink, exhausted. Boy. There's another fish here. <gasps> Getting too low, no! <gasps> oh, a narwhal. How nice. I'm glad it didn't spear us. Jellyfish! Yay! Well met, bearded travelers. The voice is deep, musical. Stammer's brave beard, awed. The absurdity of underwater speech only adds to the wonder apparent on his face. You've seen much this day, she continues, smiling. The men nod unnecessarily. Yet you have not seen all. She peers at each of them. Other paths lie untrodden behind you. If it is in your hearts to seek these paths, another day awaits. Hasty beard clears his throat nervously. Pardon my interruption, ma'am, but we've no longer any vessel with which to seek them. Lost at sea, she was. A silvery laugh ripples the water around them. You have traveled far without her, have you not? But do not be troubled. That which is lost may yet be found. May we, may we meet again at the end of another path. Inclining her glimmering head in farewell, the creature slips silently away into darkness. In the quiet that follows, the men find themselves still sinking.
Ooh, some corals and a crab. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, we're walking out of the water. How funky. Go this way. Oh, there are like puffins here. How nice. They're so cute. Hey, puffins. There are trees. Wow. Come on, guys. Let's go this way. They don't want to go this way. Oh, there's a moose. Hey, moose. How you doing? There's a house! Hello, house! Yeah. Check this out. Come on, guys. Is this a coffee shop again? Oh, dear. There he is! Here's a coffee guy. Thought you'd find your way to that door eventually, the old man greets them. The familiar has a way of making itself new when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I'd bet. The men shake their heads. Still have the map, he questions. Steadybeard nods, silently passing it to him. Ooh, okay. Ooh, it shows our adventures. How cool. I see he managed to find those adventurous deeds. And did you meet her? Aye, Bravebeard is first of the brothers to speak. Magnificent she was, like this shurum of old tales. But she told us we've more to see. Aye, it'll be there when you're ready for another go. The old man gestures to the books. Those shelves are full of tales like yours, and with all the paths left untrod. There's a twinkle in his eye. I even contributed a few in my time. You see, he continues, what's left unwritten in one story can fill others. If he, if he have the inclination to sail again, have another look at that shelf. Burly men at sea, steady bard. Beard reads aloud. Not a bad title, that. But what's all this numerical business on the spine, and how did... He gives him a sly look. That's another mystery, if he's curiosity for it. One last thing, continues the old man. I don't mind telling you now that I was the one who sent your bottle to sea. I've another to be tossed out for the next curious soul. Will ye do the honor? Sounds like a plan to me. There you go. Let's go toss it in the sea. <laughs> what a funky game! Well, I guess we're going to have to explore the other pathways. Um, I wonder if each of those uh, symbols represented a choice, like in the whale. I kind of wanted to go down to the, the end of the whale journey, but I, I thought I was meant to, to go get out of it. So, But next time I'll try to do something else differently. This is very cool. I enjoyed this game. Woohoo! And I love the music. <laughs> <laughs> sound effects. It's great. Folks in the village. That is so cool. Quiet Adventure by Brain and Brain. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think we'll come back next time for some more adventures. Oh, what are we doing now? Oh, dear. 
I think this is probably another adventure. So, uh, I'm Catherine of Sky. Thank you so very much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.